guys, it's Ro. Today I'm gonna be doing a video of what's in my fridge. I got so many requests to do this video and to do a brief kitchen tour of the new kitchen. I'm gonna make it brief because I really just don't have a lot of things in here yet because I'm still moving in, but my fridge is fully stocked because we always have a lot of friends coming over and I live with two dudes and they eat a lot of foods. Open sesame. I'm gonna start on this side of the fridge first, and this is mostly just condiments. Check these out. Have you ever seen a ketchup and mustard this big? I get these at Costco. Look at that, they're like weightlifting size. <laughs> oh yes, this is one of my favorite hot sauces. I love Louisiana hot sauce. The crystal hot sauce, yum, 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 yum. Another hot sauce that I really like is sriracha. Gotta have some sriracha. And then up here, we've got some almond butter. It's basically like an alternative, kind of a healthier alternative to peanut butter. I really, really like this brand, it's Justin's. You used to only be able to find it at health food stores, like Whole Foods, but now I've been seeing them a lot more at just your local grocery stores, which makes me really, really happy. I like to eat them in the morning, just take a scoop of this and put it on a banana. Over here, this is a drink that I really like to drink when I'm in a rush and I don't have the time to get my servings of veggies in that day. The brand is Evolution, and this one is called Sweet Greens. They have another version called Greens, but I like this one. It's a little bit more sweet. As you can see on the side, it has lemon and apple, and it has all of these other vegetables in there. I do warn you though, these do taste like vegetables. And as you can see, the veggies settle on the bottom, there's more liquid on the top, so before you drink them you really gotta shake them up down here we have two jugs of milk those are mr huskies i don't drink milk but he loves cereal so those are his i drink actually soy milk this is the brand i like i really like silk it's light soy milk and it's vanilla flavored because i like sweet and i drink this with my cereal or sometimes i put it into coffee and then over here is my cheesy wall. I have a bunch of cheeses, uh, shredded cheeses, and then these are light mozzarella sticks. I love string cheese. They're so fun to eat. I just peel them. They're a really healthy little snack. Oh, and I love these. These are my favorite snack in the entire fridge. Have you ever had these? These are so good. Okay, Laughing Cow, they're light cheeses. They come in these little triangles and I love to eat them with little wheat crackers that I found at Trader Joe's. They're only 35 calories and have two grams of protein, so this is the perfect afternoon snack. So good! And then down here, I don't know if you can see this, but I have an abnormal amount of cream cheese in my fridge. Let me, how many boxes is this? Okay, I have four boxes of cream cheese in my fridge right now, but it's just because I bake a lot and I make a lot of cream cheese frosting, so. Okay, and the beeping noises, that was just my fridge telling me that the fridge is open. It's a smart fridge. All right, moving up here to the top shelf, we've got some Greek yogurt. I love eating Greek yogurt in the morning. Throw a little granola in there, a little fresh fruit, mix it around. And then here I've got some almonds. They're just plain almonds and I like keeping them in my fridge because California is really warm, it's hot here, and I like eating cold almonds. <gasps> yes, hummus. Hummus and baby carrots. This is one of my favorite snacks. Super healthy and light. Then here I've just got some melon and then some leftovers. What's in here? Got, yep, it's just some chicken and rice. I'll probably eat that tonight for dinner. I just like to eat it with some veggies. Okay, now on this shelf, just a bunch of beverages. I do like to keep a few bottles of water in the fridge. And then, ah, one of my favorite drinks. I love bubbly water, sparkling water. Perrier! A really good thing that I like to do once a week is I'll take half a glass of red Zinfandel wine and a little bit of bubbly, pour them together, a boom, wine spritzer. These also come in different flavors, like these are, these are the lime ones, and Mr. Husky really likes these, so I keep these around. And then this is, uh, my nutritionist told me about these. I'm trying to cut back on soda, but I still love soda. So they said this was a healthy alternative because it's flavored with stevia, which is a natural sweetener. It still has zero calories and it is still soda, but it's like a healthy version of soda. And then on this shelf, we've got 
These are little whole wheat bread. They're sandwich thins. I use these to make sandwiches and to make some toast in the morning. Those are really yummy. And I also put a little margarine on them when I'm making toast. I use, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> I have so many eggs in my fridge because I bake a lot and because I like scrambled eggs in the morning. So the fridge came with this really cool little egg holder and I like it because you can just reach in, grab an egg, make breakfast. And then behind there, I have a bunch of crates a fresh cage-free eggs. And down here, we have two drawers. One is a fruit drawer and one is a veggie drawer. Here in my fruit drawer, there's lots of oranges. I have one orange every morning. And then we've got some apples and lemon because I like to make lemon water. And then over here, oh my gosh, I'm on an artichoke binge. I really don't know why. I just eat these every night. I'll either grill them or boil them. Why do I love artichokes so much? I don't know. YOLO. And then down here is my meat locker. It's my meat drawer. We keep all the meat down here. We've got some turkey bacon. We've got some turkey breast as well. This is just really good lunch meat. I really like turkey and lean meats. And ground turkey breast. You can use this instead of ground beef for tacos or if you make a turkey burger versus a regular burger. All right, that's about everything in the fridge. And now we get to go to the fun part in the freezer, which is down below. I really like this fridge because the freezer's on the bottom and I'm super petite, so it's really easy to use. I love this, it has two deep bins down here and I really like it because when you bake a cake, you can just pick it up and put it down into the bins. Right now there's only, my friend Will brought these over for me. They are onion pancake. I love these. I used to eat something very similar to these in China. I've been nomming on them all week. And then in here, this is the nummy drawer. Are you ready? We have a lot of Red Baron pizza in this house because Mr. Husky loves Red Baron pizza. And whenever he makes it, I always steal a slice because it's so good. And then over here, doo -doo 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 are these little ice creams. I get them in small serving sizes. And I love coffee flavored ice cream. And then over here, this is the healthier version of ice cream. I say healthy because it's probably not that healthy. All right, that is everything that's in my fridge. And now I'm gonna give you a brief tour of the kitchen and show you around. We're gonna start with the microwave. I make a lot of popcorn in here. And then over here is my favorite part of the kitchen. The double oven. No, 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 no. I really like this oven. When you open the doors, the lights come on. And I even had to read the manual because there's a lot of different settings and features on this oven that I didn't, I've never seen before and I didn't quite understand. One of them, have you seen one of these before? Looks kind of medical, doesn't it? Looks a little weird. But what you do is you plug this into the inner part of the oven, stick this into your meat, and then digitally it will read how hot your meat is getting so that you know that you're cooking your meat correctly. I have never seen one that you attach to your oven before. Digital meat cooking has arrived. Over here, this whole wall is for baking stuff and every cabinet is filled with baking stuff. For example, do you have a cookie icing drawer? <laughs> because I do. Here is the massive stove. It is bigger than I am. Look how much pasta you can make on it. This, my little flag banner, I got a lot of questions about this on Tumblr, and I was just gonna tell you guys, it is so easy to make. I went to Michael's, I got one piece of scrapbook paper that had the little sparkles on it, like this, and then I cut the paper into triangles, and then I punched two holes, one on this end, one on the other, and then I just strang through a ribbon all through all of them. And then over here, we have trusty dusty KitchenAid. I love this machine, it makes baking so much easier. I also love this backsplash. It is chalkboard paint. So I'm gonna take a little piece of chalk and show you, you can make little notes or draw little shapes. I just love having chalkboards in the kitchen. It's so cute. Up here I have a bunch of cookie cutters. They're all labeled. Like these are shapes, letters, Star Wars, and these ones are dinos, my favorite. Of course, we got my little dinos over here. They're piggybacking people, so get your mind out of the gutter. They're best friends. 
Okay, moving on. I still have to finish lining some of the drawers up on top, but I basically lined every drawer in this kitchen, which took me two days because there's so many drawers. It's really good for when you put bowls or utensils in here that they won't damage your drawer, and when you open and close them, your utensils will not move. Speaking of things that I like, these mats, these are by Gel Pro. They're really good. I have this small one right here that goes in front of the sink because I wash a lot of dishes. I spend a lot of time doing that. And then there's another one right over here. It's a really long one and it's right in front of the stove where I do a lot of the baking and the cooking. And these are so comfortable on your feet. If you are standing all day, which is what I do, I stand for about 12 to 14 hours a day, these things make your feet feel amazing. And then over here is the sink. I really like the sink because it already came like this. I didn't have to do it, but this nozzle um, when you're washing things, look at that. Oh, so it makes it easier to wash pans and bowls. And then last but not least is the coffee corner. Over here is my Keurig coffee maker. I got this coffee maker I think about a year ago and I love it. And I got this little spinner, look at this little spinner to hold all the different types of coffee. On the top here, I have the vanilla coffee, and look, a little bit blingy, bling bling. And then here I just have some Earl Grey tea and hot apple cider, and then this is Starbucks, just regular medium blend. I'll show you guys how to use this because it's so easy and I really love this machine. You'll just want to make sure that there's water in here and you can fill it to the little line. And then you're going to turn it on and once these lights have turned blue, you're good to go. Oh, Okay, I got this cup at BlizzCon. It's so cute. It's a Hearthstone cup. I've been playing this game a lot. It's really cute. Home is where the Hearthstone is. I'm just going to lift this up. And I'm gonna make a vanilla one. You just put the little guy in there, close it. I always do the full cup. And then the magic happens. And this is where I sit and I slowly wake up in the morning and I'm like, I would drink it right out of there if it wasn't so hot. I grew up drinking coffee. I'm from Seattle and I've been drinking coffee since a really young age. It says it stunts your growth, but I don't believe it. Oh, yay, good job, good morning. And then, this is really cool, I have a bench, you can't see all of it, but there's a bench that goes all the way down in my kitchen, and this is where I just sit every morning. I put a little pillow here so I can just sit, get cozy, and enjoy my coffee. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed the kitchen tour and the what's in my fridge. If you have any other ideas for any other vlogs that you'd like to see, let me know. Just leave me a comment down there because I really like making these vlogs. They're really, really fun. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye.